guys welcome to PC Tips Pro and in today's video we gonna see how to add UPI payment gateway in e-commerce website so before getting into the video if you guys haven't yet subscribed to the PC Tips Pro please do subscribe and now let's get into the video and now let's say you have an e-commerce website and on the checkout page you want to give your customers a way to make payments using UPI apps like GPay, PhonePay and other UPI apps. So after watching this video you will be able to add UPI payment option to your checkout page and then once your customers make a payment you get your uh, you get all the amount on your bank account linked to your UPI. So now uh, let's uh, uh, firstly in order to uh, have uh, understand this firstly you need to have a e-commerce website so then if you don't have an e-commerce website and if you are willing to make, make one you can uh, get access uh, to the video which uh, ha which is having the tutorial of making the e-commerce website for your business in the description so let's say this is our WooCommerce website and then you want to add your UPI payment option at the checkout page. So you can just uh, do it by going back to our WordPress dashboard and now in order to add our UPI payment option we need to follow few simple steps. So let's go to the WordPress dashboard and then so our first step to uh, add this UPI payment option to your e-commerce website or WooCommerce website is uh, we just go to the plugin section and click on add new plugin and here we're gonna install a plugin that will help us add the UPI payment option to our website so let's search for the plugin called as UPI and here you can find the plugin so click on install now and once it gets installed you can click on activate and now this plugin will be successfully installed and activated on our wordpress and now here let's go to the uh, let's go to the second step that is setting up the plugin in order to set up the plugin we'll go to the settings and here you can find this UPI QR code payment gateway click on the settings and this will take you to a page like this and now in the payment section you can find a new option called as UPR, UPI QR code so then let's enable this option and click on setup to make the changes and then you will land onto a page something like this and then here you have many options like your title your description and your instructions and your mobile instructions so how does this work with the mobile and you get a confirm message so here you can find that click confirm only after the um, amount detected from the account so then will manually verify your trans transaction and are you sure so this is the confirm message and you get a, uh, this is your thank you message so you can even edit this messages and you can uh, as soon as the you, as soon as your customer makes the payment firstly it will be on hold and once you confirm the payment you can change it to processing and after it is done after the delivery has been done you can make it to be successfully completed and you can your store name or shop name will be here and merchant upi vpa id so this is the one where you want to where you have to add your upi ad, upi id that uh, where you want to receive the payment to uh, payment and this upi will be linked to your main bank account where you wish to get all the money from the visitors or your customers so then here we'll give the uh, upi upi id from the upi app so you can get that from your app and then here you need to paste it and then uh, you can find this pay now button text so, uh, so it is a scan and pay now button and then you can change the theme uh, so here UPI address VPA so it is um, uh, when a customer um, makes a payment uh, 
you if you want to have the upi id of your customer or not so this is the option which uh, tells which confirms that uh, do you need the upi id of the, your customer or not so far uh, to make it easy for your customers you can hide it so you can click on hide field and then uh, you can see require upi id you make it to be required field and upi transaction id we are hiding it for our uh, easy for to make it easier to our customers and then uh, we are making it compatible with mobile qr code also and then after making all the changes and also here you can find this email subject email heading and all and you also have the email body text and you can even edit this but it's quite well for me so i'll just click on save changes so now we have successfully set up and now our upi payment will be added to your website so once the customer goes to the checkout page and there they can see the upi payment page and they can find the uh, qr code that is need to be uh, scanned in order to make the payment through upi and then after the customer makes the payment you would get it onto your email like a uh, so and so person with so and so order id has made a payment and also the customer gets an email that the payment has been done uh, has been uh, has been on hold and once you verify it like once you open your upi id and once you see that the amount has been credited uh, you can confirm the order like you can make the status of the order to processing like a uh, uh, um, once the customer made a payment uh, you can get the order id of that also so in order to uh, after you check the payment and all if you want to confirm it you can go to woocommerce and click on orders and there you can find all the orders so firstly i don't have any orders here so i don't get any so once you receive a new order uh, you can change the status of the order to uh your processing so that again your customer gets an email that your their payment has been successfully received and their order is now been processing so then uh in the same way the the customer can make the payment using mobile phone also so this is all how you can add the uh, upi payment gateway to your e-commerce website and i hope you all found this video useful to you and don't forget to like share and subscribe to pc tips pro thank you for watching guys